Hello everyone, it's Yamila here and today I'm sharing with you a card that I made using my Cricut Maker. Now I've done several cards, I just haven't had the time to actually share it with you. But I thought today it's cold in Cape Town, it's freezing, let me have a play. So this is um, one of the Anna Griffith cards that's available on the... Um, on the can on on cricket's uh, design space sorry the words just left my mind in a, a minute ago and i actually this is my second cut the first cut i did with the normal blade and it didn't cut well enough despite me doing two cuts because this is quite a heavy it's almost like a 300 gram cardstock so i cut the second cut with my deep point blade and it worked beautifully first time round on the default setting it cut perfectly and then the rest of the elements i cut just using the regular blade that the machine comes with and what i have learned is that if your pressure is too much and you've chosen the wrong paper then it doesn't cut well so this machine is so clever it actually you need to be quite as specific as possible with the kind of paper you've chosen to cut with because i cut this the first time and i had it on lightweight card only to realize afterwards that this was more like copy paper than lightweight card so yeah just as a footnote from my personal experience because i am very new to the maker you need to be very specific with your um with your material so let's fold and score this. I did use my scoring stylus in the machine to, um, to score this because I don't have the scoring blades yet. So that's the one part. And then there is an additional layer which is going to go underneath. And I mean, once you have all these things cut, it is a cinch to put together. Um, so I... I really think if you are somebody that makes lots of cards, then you can spend an afternoon perhaps prepping all your um, all your card making elements, cut everything, and then while you're watching TV, you can just put them all together because putting it together is really fast. Now I'm using the Stamperia Extra Strong Glue here. I love this glue it doesn't buckle or bend your paper and the nozzle is fairly small to actually be able to work in oops in smaller areas and I'm putting glue on here rather than on my base because it makes it easier to see where I need to put the glue So this is going to go on top of the and hopefully the glue is going to give me like a little bit of leeway to align that. And I really hope I am in shot because I cannot see what I'm doing. Okay. Not too bad. And I actually just hand cut this piece to layer on top there. And what I wanted to do was to distress the edges. Oh, what did I do with my distressing tool? Let's just go with pink. Let's hope there's some pink on here still. There's a little bit of pink on there still. Not much. And this is actually a birthday card for someone. So 
and then we've got the butterflies and these butterflies I cut under the normal setting so we're gonna make these butterfly wings flap I'm just going to glue it in the middle two three butterflies and you all know that I cannot do anything without what is that that I can't live without glitter so we are definitely going to have to add some glitter to this uh, so it's my my extra gloss finish this is from Stamperia I love this stuff and so this will first have to dry before I add it to the card now and it's cold today so this will take a while to dry Best thing I ever bought was this little tray for glitter and beads and stuff. It works really well. And I'll check afterwards if I need to add more anyway. The rest of the glitter goes back into the tub. These are supposed to sit on the front of the card like this. And in hindsight now I'm thinking I should have cut it in a turquoise rather than in a in pink. So maybe what I'll do is I'll cut one in turquoise and I'll finish the card and post a picture. But that's it from me. Until next time. See you inside the space. Bye now.